Hey guys, today I'm dragging for catfish with gizzard shad on the home of the 2017 Cabela's King Cat Classic, Lake Water Reef. All right, any of you guys coming to Water Reef for the tournament, I won't be here, so I won't get to shake your hand, but good luck to you. Okay, tell you one thing, bait is plentiful. That is one throw of the cast net right there, guys. I threw a couple more times, got some more. So there's plenty of uh, plenty of gizzard chat in here. There's also plenty of white perch. It just depends what's working on those two tournament days. Uh, white perch has been a very good bait. It's very plentiful here. Uh, but some days, the old gizzard chat is what's working. So you shouldn't have any problem getting bait when you get here. All right, I'll give you one option for bait. You roll into town late, you don't have a cast net, you don't feel like throwing it, it's cold, windy, whatever. JBK Outdoors in Fort Lawn is what you need to hit up. I'm gonna put a link down in the bottom so you can get a hold of him. JBK Outdoors, uh, he's got bait, got some huge tanks there and uh, should be stocked up and ready to go for the uh, Cabela's King Cat Tournament in October. And any of you guys that see this after the tournament are in this area fishing, Jamie's always a good one to hit up for bait. He's the uh, he's really become the go-to bait man for Lake Watery. All right, guys, pretty standard setup for me today. I've got uh, three rods on each side of the boat. Got them over here. And uh, what I've got is uh, I'm running one planer board and then two out. This one here sticking out this way straight out is the uh, one of the rods going back. That one is on the corner. And then this one right here is going up to a planter board. Got a pretty good spread. I could run more planter boards. I'm just running this just to see what's going on. I'm making, uh, hadn't been down here in a couple weeks. So I'm kind of hopping around just to see what the fish are doing. Dragging some baits. Going to try this area, try another area, see what's working, see where they're at. And adjust from there uh, with what's going on with the fish. And I'm going to be here for a couple of days. So I'm going to enjoy it. See if I can get on some fish. And uh, hopefully do a little recon for a few of you guys. Uh, that are coming into town to fish the tournament and I, like i said i won't be here to fish it uh that old nasty thing called work is getting in the way so uh but i'll take that uh i'll take the guarantee check over the maybe check from down here so uh yeah hopefully i'll give you a little information uh i think it's going to be a good bite it looks like all our big tropical systems are out for now uh nothing really brewing so hopefully it stays that way and uh Sticking with my 20 pound average. That's what I'm thinking for two days of fishing, 10 fish, it's gonna be around a 20, 21 pound average to win it. So that's my call right now, three weeks out. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys, I've had a couple rods get hit and I think this planter board's finally hooked up with something. Uh, I think it's a big fish, but it's getting popped. We've come across the flat, dropped into the river channel. I'm coming up the other side. It's a shallow slope out of it getting bit over here. There's a bunch of small stuff on there. I think that's where we got something relatively small. But that's okay. I'll try to break the ice with this one anyway. Let's get this planter board off of here without losing the fish. Wouldn't do this with a big fish, but Sometimes you can do this fairly well. Looks like I did that time. Normally the big fish, I just pop the planer board loose and slide it down the line. Uh, these planer boards bite better than a traditional board that walleye guys and striper guys use. And that's why I use them for dragon baits uh, for uh, catfish because I'm using Santee style rigs, bottom rigs, drifting rigs. And uh, I got a little more weight on them. And you need something that's not going to pop loose. If you get slammed with a big one, they will pop loose. But this little fella is not exactly a slammer. Okay. If I was keeping him, this would be a perfect eating size. Nice Lake Watery Blue Cat right there. Lace them alive so you can catch them. This one had a rattle on it. Jingle bells, jingle bells. I see what those are. Grab one here. You get them from Hooker's Terminal Tackle. Got a little rattle sound to them. Uh, I've been trying them out. I've had some rattle stuff. I made them my own using some worm rattles. 
He's got a lot more noise to them. They bump right up against that peg on that cork. Bait goes bouncing through there. It's about 60-40 right now. Uh, about 70-30 at night. See that cork got hit. See that? See that bite right there? Well, catfish bit down on it. You can see the difference. Make sure that peg's in there good. Happens a lot though. They'll hit those corks. But yeah, the uh, rattles have been working good. I like them. Uh, like the way they sit, they actually add some buoyancy to your drift rig. Pretty good product. Down here, I got that one on the planer board. These things attach very easily. Got a little pigtail thing here on this end. All you're doing is just putting the line on there. Make a little loop and it's the easiest way. Thread it right on there like that until it's all ready to back. And that clips to the front. I say the front as in the end closest to the rod. So if you put it on backwards, it don't plane out. So, and you'll do that eventually if you use these long enough. It's a great way to, to really widen out your coverage area when you're drifting, dragging, or you can use them anchored down in current to swim baits out away from the boat. This one's starting to get hit. Looks like a small fish. Like he's on there and buttoned up. Just like seeing a rod bend. Pulling 30 pound monofilament line. I've got big cat fever, seven foot six, medium heavy action rods. Abu Garcia 6500 C3 reels. All of this stuff I'm fishing with is on my website, DieterMelhornFishing.com. You can go there, check out the gear section. You can actually buy all this stuff on there. Except for the big cat fever rods. You got to get those from them. Good eater size one if we were eating them. Got out here late in the day. It's about 3 o'clock before I got on the water. 4 o'clock probably. And uh, tried it in the afternoon, caught some bait, three throws in a net, five dozen shad. It's a pretty good day. A lot of shad here in this lake. It was kind of slow last year for catching them. This year, though, there's an abundance of them, and that's what I'm fishing with today. All right, guys, made a little move. Uh, ran a little bit closer to the bank. I got out of the middle of the river. Dragging across a little hump here. I don't know, 300 yards off the bank, and I'm hooked up on a planer board. Dragging some of these baits across little hump out here sometimes it'll hold some fish I'm gonna try to get the planer board off of here just to avoid it mess these hook good we will see yep still there Got a perch rod out too, trying to see if there's any perch in here. So I'm trying to put a few of those in the boat just to see if that helps with the bite. No tankers yet. Small one. Small channel. Little fella. I'm not sure what kind of a mess I got here. If I've got a fish or if I'm tangled. No, it looks like a fish. What a mess. What a bunch of goofiness. That's blue. Easy, girl, you're getting me soaking wet. She's gonna get the hook. Yeah, about 13. Nice fish. Good one. Hooked a little deep, though. Put that one back. Yeah, we had some stuff get twisted there. Line was going off this way. That was tangled. And there's a fish on there. I wonder what them right there are. Yeah. Looks a little bit like stripers to me. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell. Not usually the kind of signature I assign to a catfish. But as I always say, whatever you're fishing for, 
is the fish that you see on the sonar. All right, guys, we've been dragging for about two hours. Uh, we're on the second drift. Got five fish in the boat. Uh, that 13 was the biggest. Uh, the rest of them readers. Uh, I'm gonna try this little section, this little flat here for a little ways. Then I think I'm gonna roll up into a creek mouth. See if I uh, kind of change up where I'm fishing, the depth. Uh, it's kind of the way I do things, especially when I come out here and hadn't been here in a while. Uh, I'll just kind of pick an area, work it for a little bit, an hour or so, see what's going on, move. Change up with what I'm fishing, whether it be deep water, shallow water, structure, ledges. Just change it up. Uh, the thing is right now, fish are scattered. They're everywhere. Uh, pretty stable weather. Uh, nice clean water. It's, it's just fish are everywhere. It's just a matter of finding ones that are biting. Very well could be the time of day. Could be these last two hours things turn on and start catching more fish. Five fish in two hours, that's a pretty good bite. So not complaining about that. Would like to have some bigger ones, but heck, we always want to catch bigger ones. So, uh, Hop around here, do a little more uh, prospecting, and uh, see what I can get onto. There's this one rod that kept getting hung and hung and hung. That feels like it's dragging something. It's a fish that went for a ride. God only knows how long that sucker's been on there. Poor sucker. It's like a white cat. Think it is? Yeah. Big old mouth, old funky body. Number eight. Good Lord only gives you so many sunrises and sunsets. You don't want to miss any of them. All right, guys, hopefully got enough light to see me. Just getting ready to pack everything up and head in. Had one more rod go off. Came a long way without catching a fish. Came across some huts and some points, didn't catch any. Last time I caught any was on my live feed. It was back in the mouth of that creek. So that tells me that's where I'm going to be tomorrow. Uh, this one in the boat. Got that hook out. There we go. No monsters today. This is number 11. I'll take it. A nice one. At least alive. Hey, if you like this video, Please hit subscribe, that way you can stay up to date on all the new stuff we have coming out. Turn on your notifications, that way they'll uh, let you know when the videos are coming out. Be sure to visit DieterMillhornFishing.com, my website. That's where I've got all this cool stuff here. There's some links to buy that apparel. Hit any of those that you see on there, you can get that. And I also got all my gear listed on there. I've even got a blog on there that you can read. So, And it's also got links to all my other stuff on there. It's stuff on Facebook and Instagram. So appreciate you watching. And uh, hopefully we see you on the water.